Hello there, I'm Nat Kowaichu and welcome, welcome to the very first episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus, finally, <laughs> and I mean finally, because this has been uh, a few days coming, because the game has been out for a few days already, and um, this was supposed to go out on the day it came out, but I wasn't feeling the best, and I do apologise for this um this lp starting took longer than i had said i do i do apologize for that and um yeah i feel i feel really bad but but either way it is finally here and i'm super excited to get into this this is not a blind playthrough i have played through the the main story of Legends Arceus on my own and I absolutely love it but despite that I'm so excited to you know experience this with you guys and you know you know do this let's play you know I cannot wait and uh, yeah let's let's get into it let's not let's not dilly dally <laughs> let's just let's just go and yes we do know what auto saving is <laughs> of course but um yeah, let me know how you um if you've if you've got the game um how you're liking it. You know, like I said, I loved it based on my own personal playthrough. But let me know what you think of the game down in the comments below, you know. Just um just comment below. I really appreciate that. <sighs> Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. And is it is Arceus, not Arceus or Arceus or however <laughs> however well, according to the Pokemon Company that is, they tend to use the word Arceus, which is, so that is what the how I'm going to say it. Though of course you're allowed to, you know, say it however you prefer to say it. Um, I know they actually say it differently in Japan. They actually do say it as Arceus. Um, so I guess it's really up to, you know, how you, which which pronunciation you prefer. But you know, I'm going with the, you know, what the Pokemon Company uses, and personally, the one that I, the pronunciation I prefer. Because, I don't know, I think it sounds the best, but, you know. Now I wish to know for an appearance. <laughs> yes, let's, uh, let's not, uh, let's not ramble, let's, let's choose what I'm going to look like. There we go. What is my name? Um, it's going to be Rai, much like in uh, the Brilliant Dam Let's Play. Yeah, and so, you know, especially since, you know, it's pretty... It could also work because, you know, this the player character is has some relation to, you know, the player character of Diamond and Pearl. So yeah. Rai. Rai. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. You are absolutely correct, Professor Arceus. <laughs> uh, well, he is talking a bit like a Pokemon professor right now. Seek out all Pokemon and foul shouts find me once more. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the is the main goal of the game to catch them all. Or at least all the Pokemon that are available in the game. And, ooh, we are in some kind of void. Oh no! Our smartphone! How will we ever live without it? And it is Arceus himself. All shining brilliantly. <laughs> Uh, 
I love this opening so much. It's so beautiful and the music, oh, so good. Pokemon Legends, Arceus. It begins. It is finally here. I'm, I, I'm so stoked to do this let's play. I've just, I've been really excited to start this and you know, it's kind of been bothering me that, you know, I haven't really been able to, you know, because I just, like I said, I haven't really felt the best. Um, yeah, hopefully, you know, I'll feel better starting from today. Wake up! Who oh, do wake up, won't you? Oh, the Pokemon talking? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, is that you? <laughs> Are you alive, my boy? Turns out the Pokemon aren't talking, but this man right here is the one talking to us. Hello. I really like your hat. <laughs> you gave me quite the shock, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? Where am I? Who am I? <laughs> um, I'll say, who are you? That seems like a natural response. I'd like to ask you the same. Say great minds think alike. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come now, who in the world does that? Also, neat little reference to Pokemon X and Y with the t-shirt. That's a shirt from X and Y. A nice little detail, I really like that. I must say your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it very much. I've never been here in my life. Well, that's technically a lie because, you know, I played this on my own. But, you know, Professor Lavington doesn't that. Wait, he hasn't introduced himself yet. Spoilers. I apologise. <laughs> I see you seem to be in a bit of pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you can stay? No, nowhere. Again, I've never been here. So you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. I feel like that would be a natural response for anyone, to be honest. Because I love the trainer's reaction. He looks proper upset. Oh, I love that. Nice, nice emotion. I see why well, no gentleman were abandoned a person in such need. Oh, aren't they cute? Oh my, I completely forgotten. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Well, I doubt they're psychic types. <laughs> ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. Pokemon, short for pocket monsters. My, that's a relief. Do you feel from the sky? Seems that like we have some common ground there. Yes, well, these three po Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Rai. That name has quite a ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologise. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. I am something of a Pokemon professor. You know... I'm something of a Pokemon professor myself. <laughs> Another Willem Dafoe reference. I've already made that reference in Brilliant Diamond, but I'm making it again because I love <laughs> I'm not sure if that's intentional, but I find that I find that line of dialogue really funny. That is say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three And they just run off. Yeah, not having a really good day, are you, Professor? Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me run them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! And uh, off he goes. And uh, look at this. 
full full camera movement. Oh, I love this so much. Even having played this, just the excitement of getting to run around like this, run around the world and just take it all in is just never bores me. Ah, oh, the wonder this game exudes. I I love it. It gives me a similar feeling that Breath of the Wild gave me when I played that game for the first time. Though I would say in terms of gameplay, this is more reminiscent of something like Monster Hunter to be honest. Which I'm totally okay with, I think that's really cool and it really works for a game like Pokemon. So, hey. But yes, we have, um, we have something over there, something shining. Could it be our phone? Looks like we have we have a phone call. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed its shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon feed this arc phone and fire mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Love, Arceus. <laughs> it was very nice of Arceus to send us a text message. Very kind indeed. Hello, Professor. I'm a coming. I'm gonna... Gonna help you round up these Pokemon. Alas, yet another mess. Ah, I'm glad you've come to my rescue. My new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways, but tossing some Pokeballs that way. But I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. And he's absolutely adorable. I love Rowlet. Honestly, all three of these Pokemon are amazing. I love them so much. Rowlet can soak photosynthesis like a plant. And apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. That was a, that was a pretty good bird impression, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire building on uh, burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. I actually ran a poll, um... Which I actually linked in the description of the previous episodes of uh, Brilliant Diamond. And I won't spoil the results. But you will find out very soon which starter you guys picked. You know, which uh, which the majority chose. And uh, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not surprised by the result at all, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but... Since you guys voted for it, the starter that you voted for will be the starter I will choose. I wanted to let you guys have some real input on this Let's Play. So, yeah, I'm really excited to to let you guys know which Pokemon won the vote. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and it can battle using the shell like object on its belly. Plish plush. <laughs> Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. We've got 30 Pokeballs, nice. A very generous amount. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize, let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at the Pokemon and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as can be. Now, this is an interesting piece of dialogue because it seems to imply that the Pokemon themselves shrink down and not the Pokeball doing that, which is very interesting. Um... But yeah, that's that's really intriguing. With that, you've got a Pokemon. 
I know we just met, but I'm afraid I've got no one else to send to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my free runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though, far be it from me to say so, I suppose. Given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Well, let a professional show you how it's done. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. I do know how to do this. Though it's very good for a game like this to sort of tell you that because, you know, it's very different from past games. So, also, this game has a first person mode. This is the most unnecessary addition, but I love it at the same time. This is hilarious. <laughs> Let's just walk around. Listen. Hello, Oshawott. Just. Oh. You're just gonna keep running away. There we go. Oh, wonderful! You've caught Pokemon. It seems you're quite the knack. You've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, right? Ah, jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Yeah, well, I come from a time where we're not really, you know, we're not scared of Pokemon at all. You know, they are our friends. You know, we get along, like... And... Boom. We got Rylap. As I was saying, we get along like a house on fire. I can hardly believe it right. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharper, shall we? Also, this guy is definitely from the Galar region with how he talks. He's very Galarian slash British. Much like me. Um, so, yeah, he uses a lot of British slang. So, he's most definitely Galarian, which I love. You know. I have, a, I have a bit of a soft spot for the Gala region. No bias whatsoever. Ah, Cyndaquil. Is it going to catch? Oh, it got out. <laughs> and we look so disappointed. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeball's hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Old boy? Who are you calling old? That's not very nice, Professor. Wait, oh, there you are. There we go. Cool. And we have caught all three of your runaway Pokemon. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't get listened to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bought it from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Rai, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Maybe it was my destiny to save the world, much like it is in a lot of games. You know, you are you are destined to be the hero of the land. The person who will save every life. <laughs> Seek out Pokemon. That object is an arc phone. Yep, it is. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? Hmm. It is very intriguing. If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalogue a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research, containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many of Master's skill of using them. 
and to you a person with clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help out one of our, my boy? Yeah, you've convinced me, let's do it. Let's, 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 uh, let's team up and complete the Pokedex. Then wh wh whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've had Pokedex to complete. I must say it is pretty funny that, you know, you know, this kid he's just met, he's just randomly asking us to help him complete the Pokedex. I mean, to be fair, that is how Pokemon started, so <laughs> I guess it's just what Pokemon professors do. First things first, let's get this Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Oh, thanks. I'm starving. Follow me then. Onward to Jubilife Village. Let's do it. Ooh, ominous. What could be going on there? Hmm. Very intriguing. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Just gives a papal nod. <laughs> Fair enough. He's probably not paid enough to talk. <laughs> and here we are. The wonderful Jubilife Village. A hundred or two hundred years before it became Jubilife City. This way if you please. Jubilife Village, it's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. This road we're on now is known to the locals. All oh, this dialogue is going really fast. Village was built Galaxy two years ago and there's much to do. Also, people are talking behind our backs. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> Not that impressive building up at yeah, Galaxy Hall. The headquarters to the Galaxy Team. I'm just, I'm just going to recap what he says because it goes so quickly. But, you know, if you pause the video, then you can probably see it easily. Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgotten. Until this game, I didn't know that botheration was an actual word. It's an actual word. It doesn't sound like it is, but it is. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. May I ask you to wait for the, me at the canteen? Yeah, sure. Past the bridge here, then to the left, the wallflower. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Bye bye, Professor. I think the show. Yeah. Not only do we get text messages from Marcus, but we also have a nice, funky GPS system. We're all equipped. This region is huge and there's lots of dangerous Pokemon too, but you came here anyway. How come? Back in my hometown, hometown, I've got an older brother who's gonna inherit the family farm and all, but I'm gonna make my own way here in Hisui. Uh, good for you. What do uh, what do the other people have to say? We've no food for freeloaders. Survival out here is a daily battle, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm no freeloader. <laughs> to catch one of those Pokemon creatures, you need it for a Pokeball line. If you intend to stay here in the village, you should spend some time talking to everyone. That's exactly what I'm doing, my good man. I'm scared, Pokemon. I wish I'd never been brought here. What an odd way to dress. Is that fashionable where you're from? Yeah, very fashionable. <laughs> I'm worried about the state of things here in Jubilee Village. Oh, we lack basic necessities and... There are some strange people around. That's no, that's no nice way to talk, to me, talk about me. If we want to guard the village properly, we'll need to partner up with Pokemon. 
Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. I had a rather traumatic experience when a wild Pokemon attacked me. Now I'm scared to even set foot outside the village. I, uh, I'm sorry to hear that, but, you know, hopefully things will get better for you, but, yes, what about you? I'm pretty new to the village myself. I, I tried to talk to everyone I meet, so I was learn something new. Yeah, but another person told me that I should talk to everyone, and I agree. I think it's, I think it's a good idea to, you know, talk to as many people as you can and just... Sort of soaking the surroundings a little bit. Are you looking for someone? Uh, well, not anymore. I found a way I need to go. I knew all along. I was just, I was just trying to talk to as many people as possible. Well, Nell, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflower, wallflowers for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. Oh, what if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be mince meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Lavington. He's a scholar from a far away place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though it makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago. I had to stick to my bed. But Professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Hopefully as long as possible, because I'd hate to see anything bad happen to him. I absolutely adore Professor Lavington from playing through the game. <laughs> he might be my favourite Pokemon Professor. I love him. Unfortunately, it's just as Zakari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow to put in my early. Professor! <laughs> but everything will be quite alright now. Right here has agreed to help us through our Pokedex. Excuse me. You plan to appoint him to the survey corps? Um, you can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Silene? Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. It's, uh, it's very good to meet you, Captain Silene. Professor Lavington has told me how he helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control, and now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labour. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders among us without any idea of their... Skill or origins. Tomorrow, we shall see if we can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. I mean, fair enough. Guess she's more the quiet type, which I mean is understandable. Sometimes I can be pretty quiet, so I totally get that. Lufus always I say. Ah, well no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, huh? Yeah, sounds good. Betty old chum, the usual potato mochi if you please, but make it for free today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. I've, I've never actually heard about uh, potato mochi before, so that's something new I'm learning. You know, um, that's really cool. I'm assuming that's a Japanese dish. Which, I'm, I'm very fascinated in Japanese culture, actually. I hope I can actually visit Japan one day. You know, I find it 
find it to be a really interesting country and I'd, I'd love to go someday. You know, it just, it just sounds amazing. Professor Laventon, when, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? How about you know of that great hole in the sky? The one people called the space-time rift. Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Oh ho, but I am. <laughs> Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are, in the grass, in floss, by water, or wherever they like. Our job at the survey court is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all been possible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Rai will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of feats such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard time, enough time catching even one when our Pokemon come after us. Uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless, fearless enough to do just that. Does the survey court really have the leeway to enjoy a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten old portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure she'll uh, start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your feel, right? I think if you make it to the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. <laughs> that's, uh, that's very, very nice of you. It's not every day that you see a person fall out of the sky, so that's, that's worthy of respect. It was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Ryan has a trial to pass to join the server core, don't you? Not to wait, I have complete confidence in Rai's skills. I hope it's not misplaced. Rai, was it? For tonight at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. We, got, we get our own place. Our own house. I mean, that's the first Pokemon. We don't have a mother to tell us what to do. We get our own... Our own place to live. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your defeat and perhaps your death in the wilds. Dun 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 They used the, the D word in Pokemon. That is that is still so strange to me. And they actually use words like death and die a lot in this game. It genuinely really surprised me. Like, they do not hold back. This game is pretty forward with, you know, how dangerous Pokemon are and that you can literally die out there. I love that so much. Captain Saline saying somewhat like his Sui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on stand front to help keep us all safe. So, the sort of tough love sort of thing. That's understandable. Anyway, I think it's time we turn in for the night, yeah? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in there. I imagine our new friend has enough, has an enough falling for one day. <laughs> That's great. With that, I both bid you both good night. Good night, Professor. <laughs> yes, good night. Yeah, it's time to, um, time to check out, time to check out our place. In the sky, people have fallen from it. The world is full of mysteries. Yeah, I wonder what it could be all about. And our quarters are over here. Let's go in and check it out. Let's see what they've got prepared for us. 
Ooh, this looks nice. This is very, very cool. Very, you know, classic Japanese. Love it. It looks really awesome. Ooh, what are those? Survey tips. Okay. Awesome. Hey, tips for team members. Don't wish your tools to be forgotten. The diligent record keeping will save you from such fate. Awesome. Now, I think it is time we go to sleep. We need to rest for tomorrow morning because tomorrow is going to be a big day. We're going to get our first Pokemon and yeah. I wonder what that could all be about. Good morning, Ray. You up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? <laughs> you ain't kidding, sister. Today, today, we trial set. Uh, let's give it our all. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Yeah, awesome. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Come Salina is waiting. Yeah, let's go. Let's see what trial she's got prepared for us. Also, I love the loading screen with the little icon at the bottom. That's really cool. The survey call officers are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The world Pokemon, they, they were everywhere. Attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. That's what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. That man's with the security comp, and even with his own partner, he took a peek from wild Pokemon. Without a Pokemon of your own, you might find this child particularly trying. It, it sounds pretty brutal, you know. Can I can I back out? Can I um uh, can I just leave the village and just um, try and get back in the portal to wherever I came from? Or so help me. <laughs> nah, we are not. We do not shirk from a challenge. We are just going to go full steam ahead. Captain Saline, right is here. You may enter. It's time to find out what our trial is. Let's go straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable of going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My draw should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove, prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our survey core satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Yeah, this satchel does not go well with this chair. <laughs> um, hopefully we can get some new clothes very soon because, yeah, these these two things do not go together. <laughs> that satchel doesn't exactly... Yeah, I mean, like, even Akari agrees. Akari, I expect you to step in the faith and go to Rai. 
the mission, the galaxy team's entry trial. Pardon me, right. come with me a moment. It's time, we're gonna get our first Pokemon. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. It's saying the map. Oh, oh, wrong voice. It's saying the map, Professor Leventon? In order to complete a Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Rai absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got the ticket to help accomplish that. And those tickets are starter Pokemon. We have Rowlet, we have Cyndaquil, and we have Oshawott. Which one will it be? These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? It is the moment of truth. Which Pokemon did you guys vote for? And the answer is... Cyndaquil. Totally not surprising at all. I, I was not shocked at all. I, I had a feeling it was going to win and I was right. And uh, yeah, that's who we're picking. Cyndaquil is your first? Yeah. Also, if you're wondering who I picked for my personal playthrough, I actually picked Oshawa because I love Oshawa. Oshawa is adorable and I just... Love him. He's great. With that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Pretty Little Beach for me will now be yours to keep. <sighs> Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside this Pokemon for you, so take it. It's yours. We received Cyndaquil. And this means this is the start of the adventure. The start of a grand adventure that is going to be absolutely epic, I'm, I'm sure of that. Word of advice, my boy. Pay, co pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty. Which ones contain Pokemon when they're out in the field, when you're out in the field. Nah, I, I feel bad for, you know, leaving these two Pokemon. They look as if they're cheering on their friends in the grill. Or their, or their, or perhaps they're just, yeah. <laughs> Or perhaps they're like, how dare you, Cyndaquil, betray us like this. That's not fair. <laughs> that could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Rai fell out of the sky after all. But not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. I mean, hey, they seem pretty happy about that. By the way, what species does Captain Saline charge you with catching? Well, that's something. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Only 20? But we had, like, 50 for the tutorial. That's not fair. Can't we, have, can't we at least keep the original 50? That would have been great, but I guess not. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. <laughs> You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit head across, then head for the gate. And we are going to start heading. I'm I'm not actually ending the episode yet. I'm not actually sure when I'm gonna end this episode. This episode has been going on for a little bit, but I want us to at least have our first battle in the game, for sure. And who might this be? Hmm, he looks oddly familiar. He looks like a certain Cynthia from the Sinnoh region. Oh, what a curious gap you have there. I can already tell you quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tear. I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You've certainly are full of interesting surprises. Investigating the older novel is key to any good merchant success. Well, what do you say? How about you and I see our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sounds good, Lester. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you have to attempt. 
can let's have a quick battle to get out of your blood pumping before you head out. But I hope you know, you're losing your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Let's do it. Ginkyu Guild member Volo challenged us to battle. And he's... His only Pokemon is Togepi. A very interesting uh, Pokemon to have, you know, for a battle. You know, it's not really a Pokemon that I ever really see be used, but that's awesome. Also, in this game, you can actually walk during battles, and I love this so much. I hope this stays for future games. This is so cool. It really makes me feel like part of the action. I love it so much. Let's give it another quick attack. We can, we can walk all the way to Volo. Hello, Velo. I'm just, I'm just walking. <laughs> just walking. That's um, uh, that's as far as we can walk. All by run. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to press run. Oops. Let's use quick tank and finish off. Yeah, awesome. And there we go. Moves items use them well and the world will open up to you. Yeah. You're not wrong there. Also I've noticed that I'm uh, it doesn't really matter, but I know the thing about uh, my mic recording. I'm interested to hear how it will sound in the final video. But you know, hopefully it sounds okay. Um I do, but I do tend to um, hope that uh, it sounds good and kind of get a bit, I guess, worried if the quality is not good enough because I always want you guys to have the best quality possible and the best viewing experience possible. So, you know, let me know what you think of the mic quality. You know, um, is it good? Do you think, you know, does it sound good to you? I'd, I'd really appreciate the feedback. So it's good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? <laughs> and as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. And there we go. Let me help our two battles recover from their little exercise. Yeah. And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions in thanks. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. You know, that'll definitely uh, be a good way to get me started. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. I mean, hey, you know, gotta do, you know, do anything for the coin, man. I respect that. That's really saying, not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you leave in Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map. And tell the rest of the guardsmen where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. He just nods, again like the other guardsmen that we are, that we ran into. The trial begins just short way past that front gate. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. I think I'm going to take this episode up to the end of the first trial. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for uh, letting me know. I'm I'm ready. Let's do this. And here we are. The Obsidian Fieldlands. This is our base camp. Uh, I accidentally uh, clicked on that too quickly. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, <coughs> Captain Saline got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's that's our unspeaking captain, but what help exactly can you offer our here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. 
Rai's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colours. You'll see. Uh, way to pile on the pressure. I'm, I'm, I'm being expected to do great things here, but fair enough. <laughs> As to the responsibility for him still lies in fact with me then. <laughs> well, I'm sure Rai will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Yes, do it. Catch a Bidoof, the first Pokemon species you need for your charm. Yeah, I can do that. That's a very easy Pokemon to catch. This is Aspiration Hill. Species of Pokemon you meant to catch or live here. Obsidian Fieldlands. And look at that Bidoof. Ah, look at the curious little guy. The key is tamed carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Focusing in the field. Yeah. Alright. But if there's a metal of disposition, that means it tends not to run from people. So this will be this will be easy. Yeah, it's probably one of the easiest Pokemon to catch. So, you know. Let's just crouch down. Oh, I missed that first shot there. <laughs> Oops, but got that time. Great. You got Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Is it going to be Starly next? Yep, yeah, thought so. Let's see what Starly has cooked up for us. There's Starly. There's gear show things. Don't worry, I've started. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be hard to spot. Yeah, I already, I already got the basics of crouching and how that works. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, that's really annoying. Well, that's a shame. We've good bird to the start, I suppose. As I said, the skittish. If one spots you, you'll have a tough time catching it. So, did I fail the trial then? Because I didn't catch a starly? Okay, we get another starly to catch. Oh, thank, uh, thank Arceus for that. Okay. There we go. Direct hit. And boom. Starly is ours. Awesome. That's, that's Starly cool as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. And of course, that will be Shinx. One of my favourite Sinner Pokemon. And much like Brilliant Diamond, I'll probably be using it, using it in the game. <laughs> I've got the thing I ought to teach you. Since you're new, still new to this, here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokemon. As Captain Saline tells us, have a nightmare the Rainbow wants to send out Pokemon. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's um let's throw a Pokeball at the tree. Good Pokemon send the grill. Good one. Awesome. Now we have to catch Shinx. There, that's Shinx. Oh the most Feared Pokemon in the land. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Not really because it's so adorable. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Why she looks so cross at me? She's like, what did you just say to me? That way, these things become clear once you focus on the Pokemon around you. 
I'm just guess the Pokemon get R8, they'll knock us out aim, but will you fight them? When you use the zero button to focus on Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. You know, in my personal playthrough, I never played that much, um, paid, paid, not played, paid that much attention to that, actually. That's, um, that's interesting. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you a trick to catch an aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. And once they're absorbed battling, you can throw a Pokemon at them to try and catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of your Pokeballs for right now while Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. Yes, do it. Let's, let's go, Shinx. Let's throw down. Let's use Amber. I'm hoping another Ember won't take it out. Yeah. Okay, it's in the red. Let's throw a Pokeball and boom. Let's go. Let's go, Shinx. Oh wow, it didn't it didn't catch. Oh, okay. This uh, this little guy does not want to be caught. Uh, okay. Well, that's Cyndaquil down. Oof. Um, I'm super glad this isn't a Nuzlocke. Another Pokeball. Let's go. And there we go. And that is how you do it. You approach the Pokemon without a hint of fear. Call each one. Your lucky gift to Sky Drop to us. With you on my side, I think this ever caught has a real chance of compiling complete Pokedex has been, been ordered. This is wonderful! I'm so curious why on earth you came falling from the skeleton you did, but for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Yeah, we've I think we've I think we've got catching Pokemon down to an art. We are ready for the big stuff, I think. Well, we've been ready, but you know. <laughs> Oh, I said you passed the trial with flying colours. Seems you went and just did just that. Congratulations, Rai. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Ye old, ye old camera. <laughs> with skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we best report to Captain Salim. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, yeah? Yeah, let's let's head back. In time, you'll be our send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring it to six Pokemon with you into the field. In theory, though, we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly dally. Captain Salim awaits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Salim will be very pleased. Yeah. I'm sure she'll be very happy with what we have accomplished today in this <laughs> pretty much hour long episode. I did not think this was going to be this long. I do wonder if maybe I uh, maybe I uh, <laughs> rambled a bit too much. I do apologise if so, but you know. I'll try and make sure that future episodes aren't as long as this. You know, unless you guys want long episodes. But you know, I know that some people might not have time for it. So, so yeah. <laughs> I do want to make sure that I can deliver content that everyone can enjoy, but you know, hope hopefully you're enjoying it regardless. It seems we won't uh, have to leave it to that after all. Wow, <laughs> she is cold. <laughs> Congratulations, you passed your trial. You can hold on to the satchel. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worried, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps.
Nice. Get changed in the room you used last time? Then you have to report at once to the third floor. Pre present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. I, Captain. Let's uh, head to our quarters. Let's get into our lovely, flashy new outfit. You know, get out of this very out of place shirt. Though, like I said, I really appreciate the reference to Carlos. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Can you arrive it? Yep. And I think... Yeah, cervical uniform. And cervical sandals. And yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, looking pretty good. There we go. We are looking very flashy. Look at my cervical uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had and the captain had a tailored just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. And of course, the classic hat. I mean, we gotta have it, haven't we? There we go. We're looking pretty awesome. Now present yourself to the commander. And we will in the next episode. Yep, I'm going to leave this episode on a cliffhanger. It's been going on for an hour, so I think it is time to, you know, call it here. But I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm so excited for this LP. And I'm so glad to have finally gotten it started. And... I hope you guys are looking forward to what's to come as much as I am. It's going to be a journey. It is going to be a journey none of us will ever forget. And I am very excited. So, yes. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe for more really cool videos like this. And of course, more episodes coming to you very soon over the next coming days coming week you know there's going to be a lot of episodes of this so yeah strap in because this is going to be a real trip and yeah and uh, as always stay cool and I will see you in the next episode